In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the driver's side rear fuel pump on your 2005 through 2010 Chrysler 300. And it's located right here underneath the rear seat. Now inside the trunk here, you want to go ahead and grab this pull here and open this up. This is going to expose the battery and on the inside, there's going to be the fuse box and relays. I want to go ahead and get to your fuse box here. On the side of the fuse box is a little spring clip. You're just going to push in on that, pop up that cover, set it aside. Now on the far right side, you're going to see three relays shaped in the form of an L. There's going to be one on the top, two on the bottom closest to you, side by side. You want to remove the relay that is to the far right. Right here for your fuel pump relay. Once you have this out, now you want to go ahead, hop into the vehicle, crank up the vehicle, let it run until it dies. At that point there, you can come on back here, disconnect your battery. We're going to use our 10 millimeter wrench and we're going to loosen the nut on our ground terminal here. Once you have that loose, we're going to spin that and disconnect it. I'm going to come on over to the positive side. We're going to do the same here. You know, on the back seat of the vehicle, you want to come on over to the passenger side. And right where the seam is here, you're going to go ahead and reach underneath the front side between the seat and the carpet and give it a quick little tug. I'm going to dis dislodge the seat. I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the driver's side. Once those are unlocked, go ahead and pull the seat cushion and remove that from the vehicle. Now on the driver's side here, this flap would normally be tucked down. Ours was kind of folded up and out of the way. It's gonna give you access to the top cover here and a wire harness. What we wanna do is go ahead and grab this cover here. If you can't grab it with your fingers, we're gonna go ahead and grab a pry tool and pop that up, but we're able to get our fingers in there, pull us up and over. And what this is gonna do is expose the top of our fuel pump unit. There's an electrical connector right on the top. You're going to want to go ahead and press down on this little clip and pull that connector off. So let's go ahead and disconnect our connector and press down on that little tab and we're going to wiggle this off. Pop that off. Just kind of tuck that aside for now. Now we are going to be removing the fuel pump unit here. We're going to have to remove this lock ring, but we do have some debris around here. We do not want to get inside of our tank. So what you want to do is in our case, we're going to use our blow gun and clean all the debris out of here. If you have a vacuum or something, you go ahead and try and clean it up like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a brass punch here. And we're gonna go on the outer side of this lock ring, this little notches along the perimeter. And we're gonna go ahead and turn this uh, counterclockwise. We want this lock ring to slide down so we can go ahead and pop that up and off. Let's go ahead and try and loosen this. You can see it's starting to move. We have a little bit of space between the lock ring here. So we'll keep on doing this until we can get that lock ring completely spun around there. It's not that lock ring is loose. Go ahead and lift that up and out. You want to definitely double check for any more debris that is underneath that lock ring. We do have a little bit, so we're going to go ahead and bring our air hose back and blow that off one more time. Our next step before we open this up, we want to go ahead and grab a drain bucket because when we pull this out, there's going to be gasoline. We don't want to drag that onto the carpet or spill it anywhere else. So grab a bucket and let's continue. Now we did go ahead and take some precautions. We put some extra uh, drip towels around the edge here. Good, grab this unit and just give it a little wiggle. Work this up. Now it is spring loaded. As you pop that up, it is gonna push itself up and that is going to expose the bottom half of our fuel pump unit. And go ahead and separate the top half of your fuel pump unit. We'll pull those rods out. On the bottom side here, there are two little connectors. I'm just going to press in on the little spring tab on the side. 
go ahead and separate those connectors. Use a little pick or a screwdriver if you need to. Now this isn't fully necessary, but it is making it a lot easier to work on the lower portion of the unit. Now at this point, you wanna go ahead and disconnect these three fuel lines here. On the main line here, going down to the fuel pump, there is a little clip and I'm gonna use a small pick here. And what you wanna do is on the side of it, you're gonna push in on this little clip. When you push in, it's going to release the lock and then you can pull up on that line. So push in on that and then pull up. So I ended up using our pliers here to go ahead and pinch on that clip and pull up on that unit. Now at this point here, we're gonna take our main fuel line. We can just tuck that off to the side. I'm not gonna to need to deal with that right now. Next, what we wanna do is disconnect these two lines here. What we literally wanna do is just kinda of pop these out of these clips. And I'm just gonna use my screwdriver to go ahead and open up that little clip there and wiggle that hose out like so. Do the same for the little one. Open up that retaining lock and just pull that. All right. Gonna go ahead and grab that pump with the sending unit. I'm gonna lift this up. Now keep in mind, this is loaded with gasoline. Bring your catch can up. I'm just gonna use some towels here to clean up some of that residual gasoline that dribbled out. Now on the top here, we're gonna go ahead and carefully remove our old O-ring. Dispose of that. You wanna make sure that the portion where the O-ring sits is in good condition and clean. Set your new O-ring in. And we have our fuel pump module right here. We need to reach on in. And we're gonna grab the hoses here. Now I did put my hand in the gasoline. That's why I'm wearing a glove. I want to have these things ready to go. At this point here, we have two portions here. We have the small line that needs to snap in place here, large line here, fuel line with the clip goes on the top right here. Go ahead, we're gonna set this down inside the tank. We're just basically lining up the fuel line with these little tabs. And there's a little space right here with a collar on the end. We simply line that up. and push it down into place. Both of those are clipped in. Let's install our main fuel line here. Press that down into place. You can hear that clip lock in once it's fully seated. Now when we install this here, when we install the lid, the posts are at an angle the connector needs to be facing towards the front and this tab facing the back of the driver's seat. So what we're going to do, get our fuel pump sending unit in its general direction here where it needs to go. And go ahead and pull this line up here, this wire. Now what I'm gonna do is try and get these posts lined up and our fuel pump sending unit. We can line up our connector on the bottom here. You 
press it up through the bottom, do the same for this here. You install these here, the clips go on the outside, same on the other connector in there. All right, both connectors are snapped on. Tuck our wires down inside. Make sure that O-ring is seated. And go ahead and lower this unit down into place. Now it is spring-loaded, so you want to pay attention to that. So once we have that seated, grab your lock ring. And go ahead and line that up and just kind of give that lock ring just a little, a little push down and twist so we can go ahead and catch that. All right, now that we have our lock ring caught just a tiny bit, let's go ahead and grab our brass punch and our hammer. And let's go ahead and continue to seat this. I want to continue doing this until the lock tab is completely seated. So now that we have our lock ring fully seated on there, we can go ahead and remove our precaution towels here. I'm going to go ahead and line that up. Push it on, you'll hear it click. And go ahead and pull your flap down. Go ahead and slide your seat bottom back into place. Get all your seat belts up where they need to go into those notches. And once that's pushed back, should be able to go ahead and push down on the seat. Snap that into place, repeat for the driver's side. Now on the back of the car, go ahead and install your fuel pump relay. Install the fuse box cover. At this point here, we're gonna reconnect our battery, lower the cover, and we'll start up the vehicle. Let's go ahead and reconnect our battery here. Install a positive terminal here. Let's go ahead and tighten that down. And once you have that good and tight, go ahead and install your ground terminal. We'll do the same for this. At that point there, we can go ahead and close down our cover here, and you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.